Hello everyone and welcome to Whimsy Creek Art. My name is Megan and today we're going to do a Whimsy Swipe. So this is just a swipe technique that I kind of developed myself and I've been calling it a Whimsy Swipe. But it's just a swipe with a palette knife. And I just put colors down kind of at random at Whimsy and then I swipe just kind of randomly and at Whimsy across the canvas. So that's where it came up with the name Whimsy Swipe. So today I'm using kind of some mermaid inspired colors, some teals and turquoises and lavenders and purples and some blues. So we've got some mermaid inspired colors and I'm just kind of putting them down here on the canvas randomly. And my paint is acrylic paint mixed with Floetrol. And most of it does not have silicone. However, that darkest blue I just put down, the phthalo blue, and the darkest purple, permanent violet, that I put down, both of those only have three drops of silicone oil, like a treadmill oil in it. Other than that, none of my colors have uh, silicone in it, just those two colors. And so I'm just randomly putting my colors down. And you can do this technique with a whole variety of colors. I do have a playlist with several different color combinations for this technique. And it's just pretty much a regular swipe, just putting the colors down kind of randomly all over the canvas. And then I use a plastic palette knife to swipe through uh, the colors just randomly. And you can swipe any direction you really you would like. And for my exact paint recipe, it is down below in the description, a link to my video for my paint recipe. And I have a palette knife, just a plastic lightweight palette knife. It's really, um, this is really done best with a real lightweight palette knife. And so you're just mainly gliding across the top of the colors. I'm not really pressing down at all. Just gliding across the top. And I am kind of somewhat paying attention to what colors have silicone and making sure I each swipe kind of make sure I pick up a little bit of that color that does have silicone. And so I don't put silicone in all my colors because I don't want to overdo it. I like a nice variety of sizes of cells. And this technique gives you a great variety of different sizes, large cells, medium cells, little tiny cells. And if you put too much silicone, you're just going to get a tiny little tiny cells. But by just picking two colors, randomly two colors that I was using, I um, put silicone in those two colors. Then I get a good variety of sizes of cells here. And I'm just randomly gliding across the um, top surface of the paints. I'm not pressing down. I'm letting the weight of the very, very lightweight palette knife just kind of glide across the top. You can take the palette knife across at a diagonal. You can kind of go in circles. You can take it straight across, horizontally, vertically. You can go any direction with the palette knife. And that's kind of where I get the whimsy swipe from. Because you can kind of just whimsically, you know, any direction you want. Okay, so I've decided to add a little bit more blue here, and then I realized, oh, wrong color of blue. I actually want phthalo blue. So now I'm just getting rid of that wrong color of blue. Now I'm going to get a little bit of phthalo blue there. And this little middle area I didn't think had enough interest, so I am choosing one of the colors that do have silicone. And so the phthalo blue had silicone in it. I put just a little bit there on the edge. And now I'm going to grab a smaller palette knife so I can kind of give a detailed swipe through there. And it gives a little bit more um, interest there in the middle. I didn't really have much going on there, but no problem. I can just swipe right through there. So now I don't really like how you get kind of the lines from the palette knife. So that's a piece of aquarium tubing. And now I'm just kind of blowing some of the edges that I did not like. And you can kind of just create more of a wavy look. 
and not have the direct lines from where you had swiped the palette knife through. So just a couple areas given on a light little blow with the aquarium tubing. And now I'm taking my torch and just kind of popping a couple of air bubbles that I had noticed, but uh, not really too many more cells are popping up. But just giving it a light torch. And if you don't have a torch, you don't have to do that uh, uh, little extra step. And you don't have to do with blowing through the aquarium tubing. If you like it how it is when you're done swiping, that's fine. You're done. You don't have to do anything more. So here's just kind of a close-up. And you can kind of see the variety. Some little tiny cells, some medium cells to some larger cells. So, all right, thank you so much for joining me. And that is my mermaid-inspired whimsy swipe. All right, please let me know if you have any questions uh, down below. it. You can comment and let me know if you have any questions. All right, thank you so much for watching.